Now to a new twist in the legal battle between the National Enquirer and that Playboy model who claimed she had an affair with Donald Trump back in 2006. The publisher is asking a California court to dismiss Karen McDougal's lawsuit. ABC's Lindsay Davis here with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Of course, the First Amendment is all about freedom of speech and freedom of the press. And now the publisher of the National Enquirer is invoking it to defend its right to purchase and then not publish Karen McDougal's story, a tactic frequently called catch and kill. And the company says it cannot be punished for exercising that right. This morning, the publisher of the National Enquirer is hitting back against former Playboy model Karen McDougal, asking a California court to dismiss her lawsuit against American Media Inc. over a deal to sell the rights to her story about her alleged affair with Trump. He always told me he loved me. In her lawsuit, McDougal, who last month told CNN her alleged affair with Trump began in 2006, claims she was tricked into signing the agreement, which paid her $150,000 for her story of her relationship with any then married man. Were you in love with him? I was, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you think he was in love with you? He was, yeah. But in a nearly 200 page response filed Monday, AMI, which did not run her story, is asking that the lawsuit be dismissed, claiming it has a First Amendment right not to publish and cannot be punished for exercising that right, adding there was no fraud in the execution of the agreement. AMI released a statement saying, we hope that McDougal will continue to be a valued contributor. While we dispute her legal claims, we look forward to reaching an amicable resolution satisfactory to her and to AMI. But McDougal's attorney is firing back, telling ABC News the tabloid went to great lengths to silence her and others, and they are now attempting to silence her again with the absurd claim that their own free speech was violated. She didn't fully understand anything about the contract. She wants to get out from under the thumb of a huge company that is, is essentially controlling her life. David Schwartz, a spokesman for Trump's attorney Michael Cohen, tells ABC News the case belongs in arbitration pursuant to the arbitration clause in the agreement. McDougal's attorney, however, says they look forward to opposing AMI's motion. George. Okay, Lindsay, thanks very much. Let's talk about it now with our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Uh, National Enquirer has a relatively strong claim here. Certainly on the contractual argument, right? They had a contract with her. This was the deal. Uh, she's now saying uh, she didn't understand uh, some of the contract. She didn't understand that this meant that they could not publish certain things. Their constitutional arguments to me are, are less strong. I mean, because they're in essence sort of saying, well, this is a First Amendment right of a company. And it's true that a media company is allowed to decide what they want to publish and not publish. I think there's an argument to be made, though, that it's a little different when the goal is, if it's true, A, to help a personal friend of the president by B, buying something to not publish it. Meaning there's a difference between choosing not to publish something and buying it not to publish it. Now, they would dispute that, et cetera, but I do think that makes this a little bit of a trickier constitution. Uh, on, on another subject, we have a relatively significant development overnight in the, in the Mueller investigation as well. New court documents showing that Mueller was clearly authorized to look at this issue of collusion with Russians, specifically Paul Manafort. Right. Paul Manafort has sought to effectively throw out his indictment, saying that Mueller has gone beyond where he was authorized to go in this investigation. And this document shows for the first time that Rod Rosenstein, actually, not the deputy the, the attorney general. general Attorney General, the person who oversees Robert Mueller, wrote an additional memo in August of 2017, which made it clear that they are allowed to look into collusion with regard to Manafort and other possible crimes that may have been earlier uh, with regard to Manafort, which is exactly what the Manafort charges yeah, relate and it to. It clearly contradicts the president's claims that they've already concluded there's no collusion. They have definitely not concluded that. Danny Abrams, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.